Hi, I'm John Karn with the Office of Aviation Safety. The problem with existing pilot training and checklists for multi-engine piston airplanes is they primarily address total engine failures. This leaves a gap in training and awareness. Partial loss of power in one engine is often improperly managed, leading to loss of control. Constant speed manually feathering propellers on multi-engine aircraft are equipped with start locks. These locks keep propeller blades from going into feather position during a normal engine shutdown on the ground, making it easier to start the engine with the propeller blades at a low pitch angle. This photograph shows start locks that are engaged because the propeller isn't rotating. When the propeller is spinning above a certain RPM, centrifugal force overcomes the spring's tension and the latches disengage. However, start locks can engage in flight if the propeller's RPM drops below this critical threshold. This animation begins with the propeller operating at a speed and pitch consistent with normal flight. Let's reduce the throttle to idle, simulating an engine failure. The propeller's pitch begins to change. When the RPM drops below 1000 to 800, the start locks engage. Now, when we try to feather the propeller by adjusting the pitch control, it has no effect. We're locked out by the start latches. With blades now at a low pitch angle, the propeller is windmilling, creating excessive drag. It is imperative to feather the propeller before its speed drops below the 1000 to 800 RPM range to avoid drag and maintain control. Review your propeller owner's manual to determine the RPM below which feathering is not possible. Practice scenarios for partial loss of engine power in flight or simulator training, and discuss plans with other pilots and flight instructors for how you would respond in different phases of flight. Thanks, and fly safe.